Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Nine News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the quarterly report on the Vancouver Canucks as they're unfortunately paused for the next uh, couple games as they did not have their game yesterday against Toronto and will not have their game today against the Arizona Coyotes. But they are set as long as it stays on cue for the game on December 21st at 10.30 p.m. Eastern against a tough San Jose Sharks team this season, but not as good of late, losing two straight and 5-5 five and five in their last 10 as the Canucks are 8-2 and two in their last 10 and 6-0 and oh with almighty Bruce Boudreaux. Um, Bruce Boudreaux has pushed all the right buttons. Uh, he immediately <clears throat> pulled Besser to the side, and Besser's been hitting on all cylinders since Boudreaux's been there. Uh, Vasily Pekolzin continues to impress. Connor Garland has 22 points in 31 games. Um, a plus seven, having a heck of a season. Elias Pettersson seems to be uh, s- slowly trickling, uh, getting back to Elias Pettersson. JT Miller's continued to have a hell of a season. He was doing fine with Green as well. And then Horvat Hoglander, and then even Jake and Jason Dickinson, excuse me, as a slide player, has looked better where uh, the two six five contract for him wasn't an expensive contract. It's not like it looked pitiful, but it wasn't looking fantastic with uh, Green with the way he was playing. He's playing better in... Boudreaux's just pushed the pace system, but like he said when he got hired, he gets a reputation for not having the best defense in his system, but uh, he talks about how he likes being in their face, pushing the pace for offense, and uh, getting it that way defensively. So yes, it might be overly aggressive at times, which leads to not being good defensive, but he talked about how his defense is kind of half of the time with like guys like Hughes, uh, you have ekman Larson. Uh, like how it pushes uh, to your offense. So I think that was an interesting thing to hear from him and a truthful thing to hear from him. Uh, Noah Yulson also has played over 16 minutes a night in his first two games. Um, has been a solid defenseman throughout his minor league career. Of course, a former first-round pick from a fellow Canadian team, the Montreal Canadiens. And um, has been very good in Laval for the couple uh, sp- stretches he's been able to play there. And I thought he was pretty good for the Canadians when he was up in uh, 17, 18, and 18, 19. Um, he's had a couple games with the Canucks here. was solid with the Abbotsford Canucks as well. And was solid when with the Panthers last year in only five games because of the weird AHL season with the taxi squad um, when he was down there as well. So uh, I think uh, this team with the Vancouver Canucks, they're trending in the right direction. You have very good centers with Elias Pettersson, J.T. Miller, and Bo Horvath, and it's very pivotal to be key down the middle. You have Ekman Larson looking like he's starting to pick it up. Uh, Quinn Hughes is a beast. Uh, Burroughs is a guy that looks like he's coming into his own this season in the age of 26. Uh, Yulson is a guy that now gets another opportunity. Uh, you see what he's able to do. Hamannick is obviously a veteran defenseman. Uh, Tyler Myers is a veteran defenseman that you know what you're getting from him. So, I mean, this team, I feel like if they're going to add, they're probably going to be adding maybe one defenseman, but probably also someone on the forward core on the wing. Obviously, I just said, like, they're pretty deep at center. Even Justin Dowling is not a terrible uh, fourth-line center. He's a solid fourth-line center. You also have Highmore, who's a decent fourth-line player, if you put him there, as well as uh, Mott or uh, Jordan Lamico. Uh, So, like, you you, you have different different guys. there as, as well. So I think this Vancouver Canucks team is trending in the right direction now. It's about if they can keep it going, but this is a perfect proof, this team, to how teams, you can't judge a book by its cover in the quarter mark of a season because look how quick at the end of this quarter mark here, right before the holiday break, how hot this Canucks team got as soon as they brought in Bruce Boudreaux. And then they also brought in Rutherford that puts even more pressure on it because they'll trade anybody to get the team as competitive. Um, So it looks like this team's moving. It looks like they're going to be a team that might be able to battle it back after making a coaching change, um, just like the St. Louis Blues. But I'm not saying they're going to get to the Cup, obviously, but just like they battled it back a couple years ago. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the Quarter Report on the Vancouver Canucks. Please continue to subscribe down below or up on the easy-to-use widget up above if you enjoy the content. Stay safe out there and enjoy the hockey.